Yo, 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 what's good, people? What's good? See, we coming back at you with another Risk of Rain 2. Two rotation run whilst beating Mythrix. Today, we're going to be trying again on Bandit. Um, if you see the last run, I got all the way to Mythrix. Finally got onto the stage. Um, yeah, the ending was drastic oh my god I'm so annoyed the way that run ended still even now when I think about it like it's, that was just utter garbage but homing missile locked on from the other side of the map from behind me and I, I literally couldn't do anything literally couldn't do anything to survive it the enemy spawned in it went ch -ch, locked on and then bam dead so that was a uh, trash and I, and I played my heart out as well to get to that point so that was really um yeah that was really really annoying but hey, let's not talk about the um, past. Let's try another run. See if we can get there again. Hopefully that bullshit don't happen again. Another thing I need to mention as well. So I've been obviously... I've been taking this game a little bit more seriously since I've been doing videos and streaming and stuff. I used to just play it. Didn't really give a crap. I used to play it on Drizzle. Used to just be destroy everything. It was just a fun little game to do. Basically, fast forward to now, I'm taking it seriously, trying to do challenges, going on a harder level. So basically, I started watching a few videos and stuff. And what I've noticed is that there's a huge difference between the way the game plays on PC and the way it plays on console. So I was thinking this anyway, which is what initially made me go and do the research. So I went and did some research on it, and um, lo and behold... Um, Everyone's just commenting on how broken it is on console. Like, obviously I've only ever played it on console, so I didn't know there was a massive difference between the two. Now I've started looking into it, and I've actually started um, comparing the two on the gameplays, what I'm seeing with people playing on PC. There is definitely a difference between the way the two play definitely there's the two big glaring ones what people are complaining about all the time and that's the way that fire damage is being dealt on console at the moment the fire damage by any of the enemies what are blazing is absolutely insane it's it's bugged it shouldn't be that strong the the fire trails what any blazing enemies what they're dropping is way too strong i've died from it multiple times i think in the last one i also commented well, if I'm playing, if I'm playing on a um, bandit, I'm staying away from anything that's on fire. That's the reason why. I know there's meant to be strong enemies anyway, but like, yeah, not to the extent why it is. They're broken. Uh, if you don't believe me, go have a look online. Type in console broken, whatever, risk going to, and you'll see the the list of shit what is broken. But it, the reason I'm saying this is because um. There's been many, many runs where I've called bullshit. But I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have died. And if I was on PC, I don't think the same scenario would have happened. So please, take that into mind. When you see some of these ways where I'm dying, some of them are not supposed to be. Some of them are not supposed to be. I also think that some of the bleed procs are... Um, are broken as well. But there was a run I'd done one yesterday, the day before on Bandit, and I got into the void fields and I had a really good build. First stage, the first vent I'd done, it spawned in imps. Now I know when you when you start off a new wave on the vents, the first couple of enemies will be an elite version. 
of that enemy, whatever the enemy class is that you've got, you know what I mean? So basically imps got spawned in and then it spawned in two blue overloading, I think that's what they're called. They had the little oval thing and I'm pretty sure it did, yeah it was overloading, they were overloading imps. But anyway, basically I was at full health, it hit me one time, swiped me with with its hit, bled me all the way to, to basically, it didn't kill me, the bleed took me to like, I don't know, 10%, but then because it had overloading on it, it, the overloading blew up and that killed me. So one hit, one hit killed me from full health to nothing. On a stage one void, no modifiers, and I was strong as anything compared to the enemies. Before I went into the void, I was like, I was destroying everything. I'm pretty sure that that is some, I call bullshit on that as well. I know it was an elite, but there's no way that it should have done the amount of damage it did. I might even do a little compilation of all the fails and you'll be able to see. Some of them are down to me, yeah, but some of them end. Some of them are, some of them are just broken bullshit what shouldn't be in the game, like. But I don't know how many updates we are behind on PC, but the game's not even the same anyway. Because if you've read the new news about the console update, they, they basically said the two ports are different. The games don't play the same, the way the coding's done is not the same which makes updating and keeping the two games within the same level it makes it really hard because the games um yeah they are they're operating different because um hopu is not actually doing that up, but it, they make the updates but gearbox actually does the coding for risk going to on console whereas hopu does it straight on pc for you know what i mean so there's another another um developer what actually has to do it for console because Hopo do, Hopu doesn't know how to do the console um, coding and stuff so basically what's happening now is they're saying in order to keep it in line with PC what they're doing is a total rebuild of Risk of Rain 2 so that it's identical to the way that the PC runs that way when there's any issues on PC anything which is um, buggy needs updating it'll be directly the same on console and the same fix will be able to be implemented currently it's not like that currently the, like I said the, the two are different so uh, like hopefully that updates coming soon it was supposed to be within the second quarter of this year Look where we are now, we're fucking near the end of the year man, still ain't got it. Still ain't got the update for the new DLC which was meant to be, again, the same time that the, the, the update's most supposed to be coming with the Void update. So please, please, please man, I just want that update to come so I can directly, um, you know what I mean, it'd be interesting to see how much bullshit we have been dealing with. Because it's hard to actually tell until... I mean, I could... I've got a PC. I could down, um, download it on PC. I know it probably wouldn't even cost that much. Only problem is, I don't know if my PC would be good enough to stream a game on it and... Well, play a game on it and stream. I don't... I think my graphics cards wouldn't be good enough. Processor would be alright. Memory would be alright. I think my graphics card wouldn't wouldn't be alright. Um I could still buy it and test it and then come back with a f with the um with my view on it. But I already know what it's gonna be is that there's there's full on massive forums of people already saying what I'm saying now like there's no way all these people are lying like the game is broken on console the game needs, needs to be fixed there's there's things what shouldn't be happening 
and um, there's there's some really big ones, but there's also imagine how many little ones is there that we're not actually really aware of. But all them little ones, what stack up, it just makes your heart you run harder than it should be. But we don't know it's there. It's a shame. Because it, it puts me off playing it a little bit, knowing that I'm dealing with shit what shouldn't be happening. I'm not going to stop playing it, but like I said, I just, I just really want that update to come so I can. Um, hopefully, it fixes it. I laugh if they updated it and then I immediately started completing these challenges like bam like that. Imagine that. I mean, we're we're see, man. If it happens, it happens. I'll make a point about it to um, say, look, the game was fucking broken. But hey, we're, 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 we're continue to do the runs. But keep in mind, if you see some bullshit where you think I shouldn't have died, good chances are I shouldn't have. Not taken away from me playing bad. You, you can clearly see when it's my fault and it's something I've done, but... Yeah, it's there, man. There, there, there's, there's bugs. But that being said, I rambled for a long time. Let's get into a run. Like for instance that, uh, like me standing there and me standing there and letting uh, the golem just straight on smack me in the face with his laser. That is me playing bad. Like if, if that would have been a stronger golem and that would have killed me, I couldn't complain about that. That's my, that's on me. Uh, and I wouldn't complain about it. I'd probably be, I'd probably be triggered that I, you know, that I played that bad and let that happen. But I wouldn't call bullshit on the game. I'd say, damn, damn, I fucked that up. Or you know what I mean? Damn, I played like shit. I don't mind, you know. I can take it. When it's on me, when I die, I can take it. You know, it's a case of getting better, get good. I don't mind, I don't mind putting in the time to get good. But I do mind when I'm playing my damn hardest and out of the blue, I die from something what shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of pill to swallow, man. And I, yeah, man, I just hope they get the fucking game fixed. Because now I know that this is a thing. How do I know when it's something what should be happening or what shouldn't be? I just don't know anymore now. So I'm in a constant state of, oh, is that bullshit or is that how it was meant to be? You know what I mean? Two seconds, let me disable my... Um preview an OBS just to make it a bit easier on my graphics card for the recording. But yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely to the conclusion that Bandit is a much more stronger character than um, Commando. From the start, from the start, I'm talking about when you spawn in.
Just, just, um... The damage is just a lot higher. You can just, oh, you can just, yeah, instantly kill stuff quicker. Without any, without any items. Try tip printer, that's really good, man. I could just put everything in and probably, I probably am going to put most stuff in and just get loads of try tips. I'm going to do is do it one by one. Just in case I get something I don't want to lose. If I do it now, it won't matter. I know repulsion plates definitely good and ha helpful. I'm trying to build up my DPS. Oof, I'll keep that. This is what I'm saying though, now, at least there's a, there's a scrapper there, so. Wow, we got a hoof printer and a, what the fuck, man. That's some serious printer business on the first level. It's a shame it was on the first level though because I ain't got that many items to trade. Hoof and try hoof and try tips, man. Fuck. Crazy good. Extra health. Guillotine. Yeah, that's good. See the bleed though. The bleed's insane. But I can't trade them in because they're greens. I wouldn't want to trade the guillotine. The, the guillotine's not really helping me now because it's for elites. But it's such a strong item for later on in game. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it. Now these, them blazing enemies, they are, they are just, uh, they're just broken. They're broken on console. Don't believe me, look it up, look it up. How many people will, will back up my claim? The amount of damage they do is just, look, it's fucking insane. Now you think about that, how how insane their damage is. Once you get later on into the game, when you start getting loads of elites and loads of fire enemies all surrounding you, that is making your run much, much harder than it should be. Yes, that's really good though. So yeah. This is this is only one thing. This like there's there's loads of stuff was broken. I'm talking there's shitload of it. This is a good start though. Very good start. Bands, pauldron, guillotine. Poof, to that. This is an insane start, to be fair. And we got a new altar straight off the bat.
Hopefully we don't get fucking screwed by um, RNG in the void fields. Because this is a really good start. We might as well buy the gunner drone to be fair. There's another drone over there. I'm going to run over and grab it. It's not going to help me in the... Uh... What's that over there? It's not going to help me in the... Uh... Simic over there as well. In the void, because the drones don't come in with you. Fuck. Won't fucking ping it. Oh wait, so this is over, and then I'll ping them. Where was the other one? There's two items, wasn't there? There's one there. That's definitely a chest. Ah, oh, it's a gunner drone. Nah, you know what? Stuff them, stuff them, stuff them. took too long. Should have should have just charged the belly, teleport on. Could have saved 30 seconds to a minute. Could buy a glass. Half my HP but double my damage. Never ever tried. I've never ever tried doing it. Wow. I'm really tempted to do it, man. Guillotine and pauldron and Bands is good though. Nah. Yeah. It's very tempting though, it really is. Mm. I really don't know enough about the how negatively that will affect me if I grab that glass. I'm pretty sure they changed it where it messes with your one-shot protection. Because it used to be really broken, but... Hmm. I'll have to try it at some point, you know what I mean? Maybe when I ain't got such a good start. My right, problem, main problem I'm seeing is we got no healing. Alright, let's not die to the elites what spawn at the beginning. This is what happened. A blue, it was a blue imp. With a with an overloading symbol. Hit me one time and killed me. One time. Bleeded me all the way down and then overload went bam. Exploded and I was dead. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure that was some broken bullshit, what shouldn't have happened. I know they're strong and it should have definitely done a good deal of damage, but I don't think it should have done what it did. No, I don't. Like it was like this, it was stage two, no modifiers, first vent. 
It was fucking insane. No, that's what a normal imp does. And we're talking about my whole energy bar gone by one bleed and then blown up. Like, I know elites are stronger, but really, that that doesn't feel like that was um, correct. And that, what I think is, I think I don't think it's just the, the blazing enemies what the scaling's fucked on console. I think it's the bleed as well. On the um, the elites. I think I think the elite skate I think it's something to do with the elite damage. Something's something's fucking wrong with it. Like I said, obviously it's an elite, it's stronger, yeah, I know that. But not not to the extent Not to the extent what it, it what it, it what is happening. It's just too much. But med kits, let's talk about that. Not it's not really an issue too much. If I keep if I keep dam basically all that means is I need to keep damage on um single target enemies I can't like half kill one and then go on to the next try half killing the other because the first one to heal up yeah you see how much how much bleed that did now imagine that taking my whole energy bar in chunks of like 20% per chunk like bam 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 dead Nah, bro. Same stage, stage two, first out. It was fucking, it was insane. And it was kind of similar to this. Like my build was actually better. It was, it was, but it was a similar start. It was a good start. This is a good start. The bison's dog shit, but. Uh, I think uh, we've done pretty well though, we've got good items. Like these motherfuckers. Like anything with, you see the, the debuff sign above their head. It feels like anything with that sort of sign, whether it's blue or, or um, blazing, are broken. They're, they're just, they're just broken, they just are, man. Like I said, I know, I know they're stronger enemies. I know, I know that. But I think it's like, I don't know, double his mount is what it should be. Ah, oh, this is really good, man. We get some AOE if we get, we get a ukulele. We're we're, yeah, we're doing good, straight off the rip. We're doing good, man. Seems to be like the first run of the day always, um, the game seems like it's a bit more generous. I've had multiple like first runs where I get on and the game's like RNG's being really kind to me. Probably not. It's, it's, yeah, turn the mic off my uh, I don't like these new dual sensors with the built-in mic. Obviously it's good if you wanna stream and you ain't got a microphone, so that's what they're catering to, and it people want to stream off their PS4 which is I'm not saying that's bad I'm saying that the, I'm saying that I shouldn't have to every time I start up turn it fucking off how about how about it's off and I turn it on much more better 
How about it's not on and I press it to turn it on? And the light means that it's on instead of the light mean that it's off. It's like they've done it backwards. Oh no. I thought he was tank we're in trouble now. We've got five repulsion plates. We're in we're in trouble now. You know what I said to you about RNG being kind to me? That's what I said to you. I swear these fucking pads I swear they're listening to me, man. Obviously, I know they're not. I'm not a paranoid fucking schizophrenic, but it's just fucking funny, the coincidence. How many times this happened? But yeah, now we're, um... Now we're basically... Sh that's really good on Bandit, by the way. That's really good. Because he's got such high damage single shots, everything's really high damage, um... Crowbar's is really good. But yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not really schizophrenic where I think everything's against me. Um, I'm just joking about that, don't don't get it twisted. They're not really listening to me on my joypad, I know. Just fucking about when I say that. I know healing's a bit of an issue, like I said, but I'd say at the moment it's 50-50 now, whether we make it through this void or not, because of them propulsion plates they just got, because now everything's just very hard to kill. Teddies would make it even worse. If they got teddies, then I might as well just not even shoot anything. Might as well just try and run away from it. It's absolutely pointless at that point. Especially with the five med kits as well. Like the five med kits actually is a problem now because they've got the repulsion plates. Whereas before I would have said, nah, they would, you know. Med kits are pretty shit. But because now it's going to take longer to kill each enemy, it's going to be a stack of enemies. Um, single targeting gets a little bit more difficult. But we're ready, let's go. Or oh, wisps. But. Look how tanky that wisp is. It's insane. I can't even kill a wisp. And it's like I said, if I don't... If I don't constantly keep... Um, damage on it, it heals back up now. So the wisps, the wisps are a problem. I need to R1 on all of them. Just anyway. So they are killable, but I just gotta. That's pretty good. Not damage, but it's um paired up with my uh, my hoof means I'm I'm zooming on a map which is very good in a speed game in a speed based game it's very good um, a feather would pair up with that really good you know a couple of hoofs a couple of hoofs 
wax crayon to two feathers or so. Your movement is solid. Oh, they got leeching. I'm not really bothered about that. I don't think leeching is as bad as the other. Wow. As bad as the repulsion plate. Like I said, the... the um, The med kit really wouldn't have been a problem if it wasn't for the repulsion plate. Ah, oh, we're in trouble, people. So many wisps that we can't kill. Fuck, we're dead. We're dead, man. I don't know, I wouldn't nothing else I could fucking do about that. I had to try and kite him away. I was literally one shot gonna be killed anyway. RNG, RNG, why'd you do this to me? Every time I get a good fucking run, man, I get fucking screwed in the void fields. Now watch this. Now I'll get a fucking utterly garbage start now. Fuck's sake. At least we got the um, we got the automatic um, void. I don't know why that happens. See where it says a blue orb appears? It's like we've automatically got the void on a uh, the teleporter. means I don't have to look for it but not sure why that happens but yeah man that run was f oh, it's garbage isn't it fuck I thought I was going to go off the map. That's a really good pull though. Not so bad on Bandit, the focus crystal. Especially when I'm in. Going to be going in close to do my melee attack, so the focus crystal's not too bad. But yeah, the attack, attack missile is very good. Spy drones, man. Any any help we can get on the first teleporter we need. It's a damn shame the fucking drones don't go in the void with you. Wow, did you see that? I cancelled out the um, the R1. I cancelled it, but it actually counted as me using it. So it took away my charge. Just check there and nothing down this lower part before we go over.
But yeah, you can pretty much tell when you're in the void fields, you can tell us. You can tell when your run's done. I prefer that just to get past the boss on the first. On this first teleporter. Straight 20% more damage. I don't know why though, it never feels like when I've got 5 repulsion plates that I'm that much more tankier than... Like what they was, that was fucking insane. Maybe I am and I just don't realise, but it just doesn't feel like it. anything down here. Don't know if that back door's open, Chrono Ball. But I'm always on the fence about Chrono Ball. I really don't know whether it's good or not. I just don't know. Yeah, the door is open. I mean, it's going to be the same amount of time whether we go in here after or before. Either way, it's going to require me to come this way and then go back. I'm tempted to take the Topaz brooch, even though I know Crowbar's really good for my DPS. was um, a bit controversial. But I'm pretty sure when you've got a barrier that counts as another one-shot protection. No matter how much it is. I'm pretty sure about that. That was my reasoning. If it doesn't, then um, I was wrong in taking it. Another chest here. Very nice. Now we need, um, One or two pairs of crack glasses to uh, take advantage of it. But yeah, I don't know why um, the teleporter sometimes automatically spawns with the the void um, portal on it. Let me know if you know the reason why. Or is it just random? Just a random bit of luck. It just does it sometimes for no reason. I 
Wow, a crit. How many times I critted then in a row? That's with only 5% crit. That's pretty crazy. So three times in a row, four times in a row. Do -do -do. Brittle crown. Could take brittle crown for the for the gold. I think it probably would. I think that would be a benefit to me, brittle crown. I know you lose it or if you get hit, but I'm pretty sure it still it still ends up being a lot quicker. But, you know, you find an item you want, you stand there, you kill a couple of enemies without getting hit, and you can buy it instantly, rather than standing there farming shitloads of them. Kill one or two, and you're you're fucking you're away. You know what I mean? Again, if you get hit, you'll lose it all, but then it's not a problem to get it all back again. gonna constantly be in a flux. Loads of money, no money, loads of money, no money, loads of money, no money. But like I said, if you stand near the item that you want, yeah, once you've, once you've killed a couple and your money boosts, just quickly buy it. I really we want to save this portal for the last vent. Well, you know, I know I said save it, you don't get a choice, but this is the easiest vent. The, the enemies struggle to get to it. Yo, that that um that that attack missile was so clutch, man. That was a, that was a clutch pull. That was. Yeah, the enemies, they struggle to get here. So do I lose my gold if I go out into the... Nah, no, I don't. The void tick's not making me lose it. It doesn't matter if I lose it in here anyway. The only problem with Brittle Crown is... Your money gets transferred to XP at the end. So if I get hit before um, I go into the teleport, uh, that's not going to get transferred to XP. Which it all adds up. So. Alright, not too bad. That's what I'm talking about. The blue ones with that sign above them. It was one of them that one of them imps hit me one time. I was dead. It was definitely broken. It shouldn't have. Done, it shouldn't have done. It was definitely broken, man. Does this game have a headshot multiplier? Cool if it did. Um, that's kind of helpful though. We got a heal now.
Right, yeah, so I think the brittle crown's not actually um working while we're in here. It's just giving me like so I'm pretty sure I've been hit and I haven't lost my money. Alright, they got mushrooms, that's okay. RNG hasn't screwed us yet. I oh, know this is this is the easiest vent. That ever one is the second easiest. This is the easiest one because they gotta run all the way around to get up. Takes them ages to get to you. Sometimes you can stand up here and do the whole vent without any enemies getting to the top. That won't happen because it's Lemurians and they run pretty quick. But as you can see, we're at 62% and still no enemies have made it. But here they come. 80% and they've only just started really getting here. By far the easiest vent. But yeah, the, the other vent was the second easiest. I called it the first, but I was wrong. I was getting the two mixed up. But that gasoline was actually pretty good. That really helps for wisps and stuff. If we have, yeah, our wisp problems pretty much been solved now. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Can't afford to get hit, but the Marians are constantly firing as well, so... It's not as bad as Teddy's or Repulsion Plates, or... Um, or them having glasses or Tri-Tip Daggers. Tri-Tip Daggers is really bad. Every time you get hit, you get bleed by like five tri tip daggers. It's, yeah, you're lucky if you make it through once that happens. But from what I've heard, uh, the way that the sticky bombs used to be, it, I'd have been straight up dead before the nerf. But yeah, they nerfed them because they were just broken. People used to just, straight off the rip, just get eight, eight or nine sticky bombs and you'd, you'd basically, that was it, you was untouchable. The DPS was insane. Obviously they fixed it, but. All right, jellyfish, not too bad. Yeah, that attack missile's so clutch. Because even if I shoot it off and it goes after one of the enemies, if I kill the enemy, the attack mi missile um, relocates to the next available one. It's really good, man. Holy crap. Two predatory instincts. I think what that does is it increases the amount of time that the attack speed is increased for. So I think it gives you like four extra seconds. So when I proc it, I think it, it would be for four seconds. but now it'll be for eight. But also you can stack the amount of um, attack speed as well by how many crits you've got. Not, I don't know, the, I can't remember the actual number of how much it is per crit. 
Wouldn't surprise me if it's like something like 20%. So you can get it up to 60 if you do three crits within quick succession. I'm pretty sure the stack doesn't increase that. The stack increases the um the amount of time it lasts, which is still really good. Same goes for the um Berserker's Pauldron, I think that only increases the amount of time it lasts as well. And I think that's four seconds, and then each stack's another four. I might be wrong. Oh no. We're dead, man. We're not making it through this void. It's game over, people. It's game over. Unless we don't get hit for the next four cells. You see they're coming in with that little sign above their head? What that means is, in short terms, dead. That's what it means. It means you get hit, you're dead. Three ice bands. Yeah, I need to not get hit. It's not it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely that I'll make it through this void. Which is really fucking annoying. Wow. Well, I'm stacked on predatory instincts. That's really annoying, man. I really like the bands that I um now I've got a chance of getting bands in my um in my loot pool. I've gotten like a lot of times just randomly. But I've also had them in the void a lot of times now since I've added them to the loot pool. And they're a fucking pain in the ass, man. The fire band's not as bad because it drops a, a a tornado on the floor, but the tornado's in a stationary position. The one it procs. As long as you move out of that position very quickly, it won't kill you. Ice bands is another matter. Three ice bands, as soon as that procs, I'm dead. The, the damage is... The damage is too insane. It would it insta kill me. Well, you're, you're probably going to see it in a minute. It's going to happen. Now I've got to dodge these. They're definitely going to proc an ice band on me, them, them imps. But I think it's on base damage, so may maybe I might be alright as long as it's not a jellyfish blowing up on me. I don't know. Because the last time it was ice bands and I died, it was a jellyfish. What? Um, maybe if it's a Lamarian shot or if it's a an imp slap, maybe I survive. I don't know. Let's try not and test. Let's try to not test it out if we can. You know, I think the chrono ball is absolutely saving my ass. Because I'm shooting them and then it's like making them... St it's not making them stationary, but it's making them so slow. At being able to reach me. It's giving me a lot more time to react. I actually think the chrono ball is saving my ass. Yeah, I am losing gold from the tick. Yeah, this is an interesting one, man. This is a... Really don't know how this one's going to play out. I'm surprised I'm not dead already. But like I said, I think... I think that's because of the Chrono Ball. Alright. 
if I get out of this void, I know for one thing I need to quickly run to the toilet because I am squirming away. Scythes is not a problem. The jellyfish sneak up on you so quickly. There you go, look. Told you. I told you. Would I lie to you? Would I lie to you? Hell no. That was a really good run as well. Void fields is just absolutely. Recently, for the last two or three days, Void Fields has just been absolutely fucking screwing me over. And I've been getting in for the second stage as well on most of them. It, it's just been screwing me over so bad, man. I'm actually to the point where I think I might start skipping it. I might start skipping the Void Fields. Because I'm starting off really well and then I'm going in there and I'm, I'm just not making it out. What's the fucking point? It's really good if I make it out, but... You know, consistently going in now. I'm, it, it's more consistent that I go in and that I die now than it is that I get out. It never used to be. It never used to be. I think that is from the anim... I think that is from the anniversary update because it never used to be like this. So that could be some broken bullshit as well. Or did they just make it harder? Comment, let me know. But yeah, definitely changed it. Void Void used to just be guaranteed free items. Now it's, just, it's pretty much, I'd say it's 70% guaranteed death. 70% you're lucky to make it out Yo, it's like I said though, now I know that the console version's got fucking shitloads of bugs and um, it's not playing the way that the PC version's playing. It, 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 it is making it harder to play this game now. It really is, because I'm like... I'm, yeah, it's just like... Am I, I don't know now, every time I play it, am I getting skanked or was that legit? Would, would them at ice bands, would they have done that much damage? I don't fucking know now. I'm, I'm questioning everything. I definitely know the blaze, the, I definitely know the fire and the blazing enemies are broke. And I'm pretty sure that overla overloading enemy, what slapped me one time, that was definitely fucking broke. There's also another broken thing where, um, console players are getting launched the amount of um, launch what enemies are doing when they launch you in the air and stuff or you get launched off the map that's also broke on consoles so now I'm just questioning everything 
Is it meant to be like that? I honestly don't know. But the fact that I don't know makes it... it yeah, it's really fucking annoying. Really annoying. Like, was that blast? Would it have done that much damage on PC? That's what I'm saying, I'm questioning everything now. Obviously, I know not everything is broken. All I'm saying is, that is what what knowing that some of it is broken has done to me. My thought process is making me think that now. I'm gonna get that healing drone whilst I'm up here. But that was a waste of two lun Luna coins as well. It's fucking annoying. Didn't even get to use it, the brittle crown. Even get to use it. Pry on, that's good. Thing is though, if I want this chest, isn't it? I can't really run away and then come back. Cause how far? That's another thing was broke as well. The drones. You see how they're magnetized to me. That doesn't happen on PC, and that is really fucking annoying because they get in the way of your shots and they push you off the map. See, fucking little things. All these little things, though. All these little things add up to a. A big, a big, you know, a big difference in the way the game plays. Please, man, give us the update, please. They did also admit the fact that when they do the rebuild, it could also um, cause some other bugs, but the thing is, because it would be directly the same build as what the PC's got, it would be a lot easier to fix them. So I'm all for it, man. That's really good. I didn't see where the teleporter was. I'm gonna hit that shrine. That might kick, it might get me killed, but then again, if I make it through. Um. It's going to be really beneficial, isn't it? Let's get two items instead of one. Shouldn't even bother grabbing that, really. no point in me grabbing equipment ones anymore, I'm happy with what I've got. 
Oh, that was a waste. Only thing I'd really swap it for is maybe a recycler, which would be really good to get this early on in game. Or um. Because it's almost like getting a, a artifact of command if you get a recycler this early on. You can totally, um, totally plan out your build better, you know what I mean? Well, you only get two choices per item, but it's still very helpful. I know if I were to press the teleporter and then come down here, it's still going to take the same amount of time. Like what I said previously, still have to run here. There's nothing down here anyway. Yeah, them drones being magnetised here is fucking really annoying. So it's almost like we're only fighting one because we killed the first one straight off the bat. Wow. Two fire bands. Two fire bands, really good. For ice bands, but still. Well, sometimes fire bands is good because enemies, although they can move out of the blast, they can also, well, tornado, they can also move into it as well. So, and it does a shit ton of it, um, damage. It's not instant though, like with Ice Blast, it's like it procs and it's instant. I'm, I'm tempted to try and do a run without going in the fucking void. Potion plate. If you get in the void and you come out, you are so much stronger when you come out. I mean, even if you get like semi good items, it's still like eight items and a red. It's no, that's a big difference. I mean, we've got attack missile, we've got healing. I am gonna go in, I mean. Both them runs we've not had um not had a ukulele have we? Well I don't I don't ultimately think that was what screwed the run though. 
It was RNG what the um Giving me a yellow printer man. I've got no yellow items. I wish the game wouldn't do that. Give me things what I can't even get. It's a little bit annoying. Unless I see something decent, I'm not going to scrap my healing at the moment. I definitely wouldn't scrap the hoof. Hey, I might have even survived that. Um... There's another shrine, I'm going to do it again. It's really beneficial if we do it. It's going to be hit or miss. That's the way this game is though, isn't it? Wow, what happened there? My drone. That's what it was. My fucking drone. There's the new... I don't even know if I can make it to that new. Where was it? Up there. I don't know. I think you might be able to make it up that tree, maybe. Well, whatever it is. I think it is a tree. But it's got like um, roots at the bottom of it. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we can make it up. Wow. My drone ha my drone actually helped me. And then I got shot the rest of the way. That's pretty funny how the, the bullshitness of the drone actually helped me there. That is. Bungus. I could get rid of fungus and um And the prism. Get two repulsion plates, which I think I might do. So I mean about the drone though. I'm also gonna get rid of the fireworks. Which are no help to me if I go into the void. Well, they fire at the beginning. They fire off one shot per per vent. It's really not 
gonna help me like a game breaking amount. So I think we grabbed the repulsion plates before we hit the teleporter. So we got double boss. Gonna hit that as well because it's within range, might help me a bit. Yeah, the drones are fucking annoying, man. Pure magnetized here. Stay away from them burning enemies, man. With their broken ass bullshit. Doing double boss, man. I need, I need the extra healing. I know I, the drones annoy the crap out of me, but let's get free repulsion, please. We hit one of the bosses with a prion. Good chance we can kill it. So again, we'll only be dealing with one. That's my thought process. the band on it. Wow, there's fucking three of them. The band's back up. It's I missed. There, we hit him with a band. Save the band again. The band's up now. Wax quails. Ah, oh, we got a wax quail on a tuck. Very good. So we're going in. DPS is pretty decent. Got a little bit of um, 
damage reduction, extra healing. We can't really be much better off. To be fair, that's that's a good set of items there. That's really good. It's just again, will will we get screwed by RNG? We don't want to see repulsion plates, we don't want to see teddies, we don't want to see tri-tips, we don't want to see ice bands, fire bands are not so bad but we don't really want to see them either. We don't want to see Dio's best friend because that's a fucking pain in it. That's probably one of the worst items you can get. You can literally can't kill anything. Everything comes back to life when you kill it. And they're actually still alive once you finish the um the 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 vent of, um, everything stays alive instead of dying. I didn't know the the attack missile can proc the um the band as well. Pretty cool. So that probably means that the burn damage on the mushrooms is um, not what it's supposed to be as well. That is good. That is a good item. But no help in here. But I'm not mad at getting that. That is a good item. We just really need to not get screwed by RNG, man. And I, I found as well that when, whenever we've had good RNG for us, there's also a flip side of it where we get fucking screwed. It happens. It happens every time. When if we're coming here with mediocre to shit items, we usually end up making it out. But coming here with really good items, we get fucking screwed. And it up, it's seriously, it's the way it goes, man, most of the time. That's not bad. Not worried about that, that's good. So we've been... We've been lucky on the first two. You think about it though, you've got to be lucky nine times in a row. Like I said, repulsion plates, teddies, Dio's friend, tri-tips, crit glasses. These are all, these are all death. You get them, you're fucked. On the red items, there's a, quite a few damaged ones you don't want to see. Behemoth, definitely don't want to see Tesla coil. If they get Tesla coil, yeah, you that's it, you're straight dead. You, you're not making it out. Guaranteed dead as well. Like I said, that's not too bad on Bandit. Because of his me uh, melee ca capability. At least that does have some benefit in here, but if I'm shooting everything at long range, it's, um, it, it isn't. Obviously, you can see the red circle around me. 
Ah. Uh, beetle guards are really annoying, but I'd prefer to get beetle guards than for them to get one of the items what I mentioned a minute ago. I'm not going to say them all again. I sound like a broken fucking record. Yeah, the bands. The bands are good, man. Very, very good. Especially being able to time when you want it to go off. Because I know that my R1 basically sets it off every time. And my, my R2 doesn't, so I can save it. Well, I tried saving it, but... um. Yeah, my attack missile sets it off as well, so... Cautious slug. Heal outside of danger, I mean... I really, I really don't know how to rate this slug. I'm, I'm on the fence whether it's good or not. I, I've, I don't know. Actually, having that paired up with my... Look, look how fast I'm healing. The tick can't even kill me. So that probably is really good. The, ti the Titanic no, and that Rapid Slug. Yeah, look. It's crazy good. Tick damage can't do nothing to me. But that is also because I've got repulsion plates and it's only doing one tick of damage as well. So I don't know if you know that, but um, the repulsion plates kills tick damage. It kills the tick damage, so they're really good just for that thing alone. Oh no. We had one of the disaster ones pop for them. We might not make it out now. That's disastrous. Five try tips. Fuck, man. I'm gonna put on a. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm probably gonna put on a different game if I die again in the void. RNG's just RNG is just fucking fucking me in the ass, man. But it's like I said, it's always when it's always when you've done really well on your run that they get fucking good shit on theirs as well. Never item, which no benefit. It's good item, but no benefit to me in here. Which really, I need stuff to help me in here. While I'm in here. But if I make it out, that's really good. That's 40% on all bosses. Very good. Especially if I'm hitting double shrines and stuff. Pair that up with the um the prion blast. Gotta be massive damage. Gotta be one shot in bosses. Do, do we make it to the bosses? Like I said, it's very unlikely now. Five, five try tips. Not impossible, but it's. Well, you'll see for yourself when I get hit what the damage is like. I don't think we've had the easy vent yet, so that is one 
luckily it didn't proc a bleed. That is also another thing. It's not guaranteed that we get propped by a bleed when we get hit, so... And we've got a teddy, so... We put... I don't know, man. We might make it out. We might. It's yet to be seen whether we do or not. I mean, if we do get hit by a bleed because we've got the Titanic now, we might be able to heal back up. But the Wisp, that was very good. So now we got the um, the attack missile, which is going to kill him, which is then going to cause the Wisp to blow up, which is then going to kill anything else which is in close vicinity, which can also proc the bands. So we've got a little chain going on now, it's very good. Ukulele is obviously the missing one, which is the, the daddy, which... Yeah, it's the daddy chain, it's the daddy chain, um, item. The ukulele. Alright, I'm not worried about that. This is one of the easier events. This is not the... Is this the easiest event? This is the easiest vent. Obviously the birds can still make it up here really quick. But everything else... Well actually them beetle queens are actually... Pretty quick on their feet as well. Oh we didn't get bleeded again. That might be the teddy saving us. Not sure what it is. I'm just bloody glad we got it. Shouldn't have really, shouldn't have really fired my um band. I was all right though. Might actually be of some benefit to have that stealth kit on a semi melee character. I would usually trade it in, but. On Bandit. Could be useful. We go in for a melee attack and we get hit by a blaze or something. Having that bit of invisibility to get out of melee range again might... Yeah, it might be beneficial, man. No, I'm not worried about that again. This is another easy event. Wow, easier event. Yeah, this event's... No, this is the easy event. It wasn't the last one. I always get them two mixed up. But I think they're both... They're both relatively easier events. There, we got hit by a bleed. Yeah, my health regen is fucking crazy. We got hit by a bleed, but my regen was nuts. Wow, my health regen is fucking crazy. We can heal through it, so... Yes, 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 yes. Now we've got two prion accumulators and this uh, um, also reduced the cooldown on them. So fingers crossed, man. Two more to do. Oh, fire bands. Fire bands is not as bad as ice bands, though. It's not good, but it's... It, yeah. If I see one of the bands come up, if it's not ice band... 
I'm not happy about it being banned, but I'm happy it's not ice banned. Put it that way. If it makes sense. My fire band's coming in fucking clutch, man. to have one I suppose I don't think they last for long enough the activation time and because I'm not spamming my pry on it's a bit of a a wasted item to be fair I might trade that if I had um, an item with a, s a really short cooldown the warhorn would be a lot better but yeah, the prion's got a very long cooldown on it, so I'm not going to be getting a lot of benefit out of the Warhorn. Alright, they got hooks. We need to be very careful. But this is it. It's make or break. My stealth kit come into play. My heel's crazy with that Titanic, um, no. There's no point in me throwing um, a pry on out because of the, the charge speed so slow. And these enemies, they just don't need that amount of um, damage to them. It's just a waste me throwing it out. Okay, that's not, it's not the best, but it's also not bad considering this is semi melee build. So it's gonna be helpful. Also has the added effect of slowing enemies. Could have been, yeah, it could have been better. It's, I'd say it's middle of the road. It's not bad, it's damage dealing, but it's close range damage dealing. But uh, yeah, we, ma we made it out of the void people. We made it. We, we might actually get a run. I mean, we're good on bosses. We should be good on bosses with the two AP rounds and the accumulators. We just don't want to die in game to anything. Well, obviously, it's all in game. I mean, like normal, normal mid stage before teleporter sort of thing. Where are we? Yeah, I don't actually mind the frost, um... I don't think it's... Yeah, I think it's actually pretty decent, man. 
I know it gets a bad, um, it's got a bad um, rep. A lot of people don't like it. I, I actually do like it. I think it's pretty good. Oh, we got a okay bit of money. Still a bit of running around. Back to the drones harassing me. Fungus we're getting rid of. That's a key point. Uh. See that frost thing killed the whatever was behind me without me even knowing it was there. You can't tell me it's 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 shit. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's shit by any means. Especially in a game where everything swarms you into close range. It literally comes into the zone, like most enemies. But then again, you could say that against, um, you could say that about the, um, the prism as well. The little red uh, line you see on the floor extra damage enemies move into that range and they do though but yeah it's not the, the reason why things like this don't get rated high is because it's not not something which is active all the time that's why and I do understand that but When it's good, it's good, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like one of them. It's like when it's good, it's good. And when it's, you know, there's other times when it's doing nothing. I don't think there's anything down there. Never a potion plate. That's good, man. So you can never attack speed. Correct me if I'm wrong about this, but attack speed isn't just my attack speed, it's also the cooldown as well, and uh, it affects the cooldown as well, if I'm not wrong. You ain't got a ukulele yet. That that would um that would open things up so much. Don't really need to do that shrine. Got enough money to get everything. That's nice. 
Yeah, we've got some good items now. We're doing alright, man. We're doing okay. The only place I haven't checked is this little section of the... There's a scrapper. I don't know whether to keep my healing items because I've got the Titanic now. What would I get rid of? I think we just keep everything. Yeah, I could get rid of the fungus and I could get rid of uh, fireworks. But we'll just keep that in our mind. As something which we might do. For now we won't bother. And I mean there's not a printer. I swear I see a... A thing to buy some in there. I swear it give us a buy an option. See what I'm saying? We got shot a spleen. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yo, that was a that was a good drop man. We need it. We need to just ukulele now. Ukulele and maybe ice band. We be we be fucking laughing. Can them drones just get in my way? Yo, shatter spleen is so good. Holy crap! Look at the explosions. Ah, oh, we are we are cooking now. Holy shit. With this is without ukulele. Yo. We got a live one. We got a live one, people. We got one. Look at that band. That band prop was insane. Holy crap. Insane. Now we got the frost thing that's also procking the shadow spleen on anything what dies near me. Wow, you can clearly see what it's doing, man. Take more healing because I've got the uh, Titanic now. It's gonna be really good. In all honesty, the um the 
the proc on the the fire band, the tornado. It, I know it stays in one spot, but it, it's still, you know, it's still really fucking good, man. Okay, uh, you would say ice band is better, but. I don't know, man. The fact that the fact that you can set your 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 band off and then stuff can move it into the zone of it, I think I think they're kind of on par with each other. To be fair. All right, now we've got two fireworks. We get we're probably gonna have to trade them off. Predatory instincts. Yes, please. Yes, fucking please. Yeah, the frost. The frost is really good for the jellyfish as well. Obviously, I need to have it activated. But it's kind of self-sustaining. If you've got a lot of enemies around you. The frost is going to be killing enemies, which is going to be then activating more frost. It's like a self-refreshing um, self loop. Yeah, I don't mind it, man. I think it's... If anyone didn't know, there's a... There can usually be a, a new altar up there. How have we not got the alloy unit yet? I've shot. I've shot quite a few of the, f the eggs. Bought the alloy unit would have sp spawned in by now. Get, get our free red, you know what I mean? Well, it's not free, we've got to kill the thing first. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think the fire band is very strong because of it's multiple it's 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 dealing damage to multiple enemies where the fire, the ice band is just single target. I don't know man, I, I'm almost leaning towards the fire band being better. So many jellyfish. Fuck a man, it was glasses, but the fucking drones got him. You see the way the drones are like mad, like that's that's not like that on PC. And trust me, that that shit gets you killed, man. Look, look at them. They're literally lifting me off my feet. It's fucking terrible. They're literally getting in my way, blocking my shots. So you you, you PC people, count yourself lucky, man. You ain't got to deal with this fucking garbage bullshit. All right. What could I lose? What I wouldn't want to. I need that. Is it? Is there a scrapper? I need that ukulele. There's a few things I don't want to lose. I'm sure we see a scrapper on the other side of the map. There's a red over there now to grab. Do 
So we got our free red. Let's hope it's something good. We need to find a scrapper so we can um, get that ukulele. I will risk. I will risk it if we can't find um, a scrapper. Like I said, the ukulele is going to be like the missing part to the build. Nah, because we could lose the bands. Um, I can't risk it. I can't risk it, man. We'd only lose one band, though. I know what my luck's like. It will, it will put the fucking band in. What we'd want it to put in is maybe Bandolier, Leptin, Daisy, Stealth Kit, Warhorn. We don't want Wisp, we don't want Guillotine, we don't want Attack, we don't want Predatory. I mean, we don't want to lose it in uh, the trade off. I swear I see a printer, I'm um, a scrapper. Wow, wow. That was an overloading fucking. Yep. It was them overloading bowels. Holy shit, balls. We nearly fucking died. Wake of Vultures. It's not bad, it's not bad. Need that ukulele, man. I honestly can't remember if we see a scrapper. I thought we did. I swear we did. Yeah, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk it. Ah, fuck it. I am going to risk it. I changed my mind. Fuck it. If I lose one band, I'm still going to add... The yeah, yeah. The chain, the pr the chain, the 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 chance to pr um, chain all my um, attacks with the shatter spleen as well. Running over the map all over again because I I sure I see one but I can't remember where it was. Was it even this bloody map? It could have been another map. Alright, we, we're gonna risk it. Fingers crossed, man. In all fairness, I think we come out stronger, even though we did want to keep that. 
the way I just fucking dealt with that massive group then. I think we're definitely, we definitely came out stronger of that trade. Because like I said, where we got, where we got Shatter Spleen and all that stuff now. And we're chaining it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was, it was definitely worth it. I'm also tempted to go and do another one. Nah, I'm not going to do another one. Yeah, we could lose Lepton or fucking... What is it we really don't want to lose? Predatory instincts, maybe. We haven't even got a Berserker's Pauldron, have we? I'm gonna get myself killed because I'm looking at the top of my screen. We ain't got a Berserker's Pauldron, I don't think. Alright, fuck it. Yes! Well, I'm not risking any more, but that was that was worth. I want to keep the guillotine. We want to lose the bandolier. Nah. Get that item quick. No. The fucking thing blasted me away. Ah, oh, that's tragic. Fucking drones in the thing, but oh my god, I fucking hate myself sometimes. I do, man. I fucking hate myself. So fucking stupid sometimes. Them drones are so annoying. So fucking annoying, man. Holy shit. Good chances are them drones are going to get killed by the um, grandparent. I might not buy anymore. Wow. We just missed a really good item. That was a boss item. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head what that item done. All I know is a boss item. And it probably was really good. Wow. That prion's crazy with the ukulele. Holy shit, man. We're still we're stealing the elite, um I don't know if you noticed, but because we've got the vultures. We keep on stealing their abilities. Sometimes we've got like extra shield, sometimes we've got fire ability. I hit him with um with a band proc. Oh 
motherfucker. I know it's really annoying that I um that I left that item, but I'll have to look up what that what what it actually was. Look at the look at that. That's fucking disgusting. Please fix the game, please. Fix your fucking game, man. Look at them. How many shots are they gonna block? Fucking just outright broken. Staying away from them. One, one teleported and it literally killed me by teleporting. See what I mean? Look at the drones. They're just... They're literally getting in my way when I'm trying to, like, get out of danger. Like, you... You don't realise how much of a hindrance that actually is to your gameplay. It's fucking, it's really annoying, man. And it definitely, definitely gets you killed as well. The thing is, they've known about all these bugs for a long time but because they've because they've opted to do this rebuild they recently posted about it um because it was meant to be in uh, the second quarter of this year and they yeah they announced that they were behind and it wasn't gonna be I think they've done another announcement saying it's going to be the end of the quarter, which means any time in the next three months. I mean, please, man. Look at it. Just look at it. It's fucking disgusting. It's stupid. I'm not buying any more drones, man. Fuck. Yes, 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 yes. We got we got our attack thing back. Which is really good. Yes, we got a red from a fucking shrine. Oh my god, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We just got a red from a from a from a random shrine. That is nuts. I think we've done all the higher up platforms. No, I lie, I lie, I lie. We ain't done this little bit. 
There's a new. Have I got enough to trade for a red? Sh enough shit greens? I don't think I have. Pointless trading them until I get something I see that's worth. Like I need to see the printer and the scrapper on the same level. I don't want to just make myself weaker on the hopes of getting something maybe three stages later, you know what I mean? Oh, wait. Look at the drones, man. It's, it's fucking stupid. So stupid. We ain't been up there or up there. One more place up here, what I want to check, and then we're, we're done with this level. Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. Like I said, with the prion with two charges. Let's get rid of these first. Two more ukuleles. Big, big, big. That kind of makes up for the mistake I made a minute ago. See the shatter spleen go off then. Just instantly wiped them all out. Is that a chest over there? I think that's a... I think it's a turret. Yeah, the chain damage is insane. With the shatter spleen and everything else.
Have you seen my run yesterday? Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if the two will be posted a day apart. Um, I've not posted it yet. But my last bandit one run, where I died. Um, on the way to the Mithrix fight, I made it into the stage, but I got one shot in the back by a homing missile. I was going to say, yeah, if you see that stage, you'll know that um, you can be you can be so, so powerful and it just doesn't matter, man. And most of the time that is what happens. Uh, what do we want? We want... And we got any tri-tip daggers? Wow, we ain't got no tri-tips. What the fuck? Wow, so we definitely want tri-tips. Look at the drones. Tri-tips, glasses. more attack um no ice band actually if we get a green box we'll get an ice band wow yeah great one game yeah great one game great one spawned me off the edge that's nice really nice yeah i love it Alright, let's just have a look at where the um, chests are. Obviously we've got the artifact key. There's one up the top there. Utility chest. Oh man, I think we got a really shit one. We got a utility chest. one chest last time I come in here I had four chests and two of them were red it was so good alright we take tri-tips though I never realised we didn't have any tri-tips that will actually believe it or not just that one tri-tip will actually be a massive increase Don't tell me I came in here just for one fucking... Yeah, I came in here for one tri-tip. Wow. Now i got to beat the boss for one tri-tip. That's, that's a bad... Um, we got a very bad spawn there. You know why, innit? Because it spawned in the Lunar Pod. Because this game's all about resources. You're allowed a certain amount of resources spawned in per, per map or whatever. Certain things cost more. So these drones screwed us. Because there's two drones. So we didn't get chests. And that Lunar Pod screwed us. So we didn't get chests. Fucker man. Yeah, we got we got. Oh, I've never ever seen that before. We got to beat the boss for one try tip. Uh, 
hey ho. I see something blue over in that corner though. I don't know what that was. When I got shot up in the air. I see something blue over in the corner. The drones, oh my god, the drones are so bad. Is that another chest down there? Environment log. Okay, so I suppose in terms of items is shit, but we got the log out of it. Yeah. Lunar pods. The lunar pod um, screwed us big time. Well, and the drones. So basically, the w yeah, the way this game works is there's a thing called director, and this obviously each stage is like um, it's RNG what enemies you're gonna get, where the chests are gonna be, and all that sort of stuff. What type of chests you're gonna get? Do you get this shrine, that shrine? So it's like imagine that the director's got a hundred points to spend per stage say a lunar pod will cost 50 whereas a normal loot chest will cost 20 so because that lunar pod's there that's basically fucked me from getting two to three other chests that's the way it works same with the drones the drones also cost a certain amount of resources because i've got the two drones spawned in means that that also stops me getting the chests But the last time I came in here and I'd done this, I got, yeah, I got three red chests and a blue. It was really fucking good. I mean, the time has stopped, so we're not worried about time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I got a tri-tip dagger out of it. Considering I never had a tri-tip dagger, it was worth it, I think. I'd say it's worth it. Alright, we spent a bit of time in here. But like I said, it's um Yes, yeah, my time, it's not the game time. We wasted some of my time. Why not waste it? I wonder if you can pick what lunar item you want. There is really nothing I'd want though. Maybe Brittle Crown or... I mean if I had dressed the, the Gesture of the Drowned unlocked, obviously I would do it and get that, but... I don't know enough about the Lunar items just yet. I'm not getting any more drones. Wait there, my healing drone died. I will get it, because we got the Titanic now on my healings really high. As annoying as annoying as they are. With that Titanic now. I'm not gonna get more than one though.
believe it or not, that one, just that one try tip would have actually made a massive difference. Because it adds another thing to the prop chain. So, I mean, look at that. I think we're actually proccing Deathmark as well. Yeah. Straight away. Five, no, he's got... Because because we've also got the... Um, the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh, vultures. The Vultures um, ability. Because we're stealing debuffs from Elites. It's making it really easy to... Prop death. Have we even got a death mark? If we end, we definitely need to get one. Oh, we have got a death mark. Yeah, we're we're con we're consistently proccing death mark. It's really good. Yes. Oh my god. So good. That was cheap. And it was two really, really good items. What is that? Gasoline. Fungus, garbage. I mean, literally, as you can see, fungus is never ever getting activated. It's literally a wasted item. I'll get another emergency drone, as annoying as they are. Yes. It's like I said, with the... with the nil. Yeah, it just gives us a lot more survivability. And a lot more pain in the ass dealing with but my boss damage is insane Well, not even just my boss damage. Just my damage in general is fucking insane. I think this is the strongest I've ever been. I think this is the strongest I've ever been, man. Fucking insane. The prop chains are nutty, man. Alright, we saved time on that. 
No, we're still behind, but we did actually do that level reasonably quick. We'll grab the repulsion. How much was it? 866. I don't remember buying a normal turret. I didn't buy a normal turret, I swear I didn't. Alright, we can run around and buy some stuff now. Potion plate. Shit, man, how much fucking crit have we got? We've only got three. How are we. F oh, no. Something else is. I don't think we're critting on it. Maybe we are critting on every shot. It sounds like we are, but we've only got three glasses. Maybe something else is, um... Yeah, it sounds like we are critting. Something else might be adding towards the equation. I mean, the numbers even look like we're critting. Oh, this would be insane if it's a red. 20%. Nah, fuel cell. Not too bad, though. Again, it's very helpful for bosses. Considering we've got the prion. That chain was insane. Yes. We needed... I totally forgot we didn't have one of them. Never fuel cell. Crowbar's really good. Crowbar's a decent on Bandit. I swear I see some. Wow. You see when the band procs, it's crazy. Yeah, we stole one of the bubbles. We got a bubble around us. Wow, 
Wow. We could have activated, but either way, we'd have to come this way to Wow, what the fuck was that? That nearly killed me. Let's get out of here. Holy shit, another fuel cell. That's really helpful for the boss fights. As you can see what just happened a minute ago. Bing. We're nearly there, people. We're nearly there. I don't even think we've got a war banner yet. I'll take the gasoline anyway. Already got six, um... Already got six syringes. Pauldron and, uh... Predatory instincts. Being adding gasoline because that's going to add in towards the proc chain. See what I'm saying about the burn damage. Nearly fucking died. I cannot. not get caught in them fucking 
blazing fields, man. I say, I knock him off the edge. Nice. Also nice. Debating whether skipping this stage and just doing the teleporter now. Uh, it's too late now, I jumped over. Should have. Shouldn't have bothered going over there. Wow, it flung me well weird. Fuck's sake, man. The way it launched me off was... Nice, nice. Definitely worth. Uh, I think we're quick enough, man. Okay. Anything what's gonna add to the the chain? Yes. That uh, was definitely worth um, searching this stage. We've got a lot of damage items. Definitely worth. And we actually didn't do it in too bad time. I think we are saving time per thing. Just because our damage is really good now. Where's the teleporter gone? Where's the teleporter? It was definitely on this platform. 
Is it up there? Fuck. You fucking son of a bitch. Where's the teleporter gone? Oh my, there it is. Fucking thing. Oh, we're all good now. We got a squid. Oh my god. It was a beetle guard what killed me. I thought it was one of the. See that? You see that proc? What happens to me? By what? By by exactly what? There's nothing. There's nothing there. There's look. Bam! Proc. By what? See, this is the times where I call bullshit. I swear the game's fucking bullshit. That, I swear, I swear, I swear, if that was on PC, that would not have fucking happen. What, I got him pro propped by invisible? What? And you can't say there's something in the invisible shield because that, that I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Nah. Garbage. That's a fucking garbage. Once again, two times that I've had m amazing builds and I got skanked by pure garbage. And what does it say? Killed me a beetle guard. Where's the beetle guard? And even more still, where was the hit? Where was the hit? What hit me by, by the beetle guard? Or I can see there is a beetle guard. If you look to the right, there, behind me, but it didn't hit me with anything. Again, with the blazing bullshit, because it was a blazing enemy. It was that. That's that's what it was. If you look. See that? See that blazing beetle guard there? But this is what I said about the fucking the fuck. Like if that was on PC, it wouldn't have done that amount of damage because the fucking. This is what we're up against. This is why it makes it impossible to do it on a console because the later on you get into the game, the more blazing enemies there is, the more fucking blue enemies there is with overload, and because the damage is broken. It just makes it fucking impossible, man. It is what it is. It's, it's just garbage. That's what it is. It's 
fucking garbage. Watch. I'm not even close to him. Uh, it's it's because I went past him, and I must have I must have nicked him as I went past him. Pure garbage. Pure utter bullshit. That's me restoring out for today anyway. I will be posting this and I'll post the previous. You would have probably seen the previous one as well by now. Um, where I died in uh, the Mifrix fight before I got to Mifrix. I call bullshit on that as well. Please, please give us the update and fix your fucking game, man. Holy crap. But yeah, I'm, I'm risk of rained out. I'm triggered. See whiz. Peace out, people.